Today on the podcast, we are featuring the Norway-based group Secret Treehouse. Learn more about them and listen to their track, Lovers in the Streets. Welcome to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music Podcast, where we talk all things music. I'm your host, Jeanette Kimsel, blogger and music enthusiast. Let's get started with today's episode. Hey everyone, welcome to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Kimsel. For those of you just joining us, this is the podcast where I talk about different musicians and how their music affects me, and then play a track of theirs for you to listen to. So you can check it out, form your own opinion as well, and if you're so interested in sharing your thoughts on this track and the group, I'll have details at the end of the show where you can leave your comments. Today I'm chatting about the Bergen Norway-based group Secret Treehouse. The band is comprised of vocalist Anja Bear, drummer Marius Matheson, keyboardist Tron Espen Tegan Bolan, bassist Tormund Smith Svenekvif, and guitar and songwriter Sven Young Fosen Book. And please forgive me if I am pronouncing any of those names incorrectly. Um, so a little bit about the uh, Secret Tree House. So basically, you know, they had come together. Uh, the, so- the band was originally started by songwriter and guitarist F- Save-, Save Young, along with the vocalist Anja and the bass player Tormid. Um, and then Tron Espin and Marius joined the band sometime later. The band started collaborating with producer Stamos Colossus on recording the de- their debut album in 2017. All the members have a broad musical background and have come together with a quest to create the perfect musical soundtrack to accompany the scenic landscape found on the west coast of Norway. This goal was met with their first musical endeavor entitled The Big Rewind, which was released in 2019. After that release, they continued to strive to bring music that represented their homeland and continued to make music regularly, releasing an additional six tracks between 2020 and 2021. The band felt very at home with Secret Treehouse, and its music has also been quite well received from fans and reviewers alike. Secret Treehouse has had write-ups and features and outlets including The Other Side Reviews, Indie Central Music, It's All Indie, Gave the Gothic Chav, Last Day Deaf, Loud Women, Solo Vibes, and Concert Monkey, to name a few. I'll also leave links to these in the show notes if you want to check out the features. The name Secret Treehouse also has a deeper meaning. It has something to do with kind of the music that they want to put out as well. You know, it seems like this is a form of escapism. It's somewhere where you go to like have distance and escape from reality. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical place, but it can be like a mental and just kind of, um, you know, something to take you out of the present mind, present focus and something that is lifeless and urban and something free and luxuriant where it kind of just sprouts and grows like a a light in the dark almost like maybe like a phoenix you know um there's like a landscape that might be very dark and industrial and then all of a sudden you see these little small sprouts uh, you know popping up growing out of a you know and then there's like this tree house kind of in the middle of this like dark doomy landscape and it just seems like a cozy and warm place to kind of retreat to and you know it's not necessarily a cabin but it is a place to escape and a room where you can create life and that is where you can breathe and it just kind of gives you this place to go when you're feeling desolate and and sad and I I like the idea of that this secret treehouse it's kind of a neat way to think about how they're going about making their music you know they really want to make something that will speak to the listener and kind of give the listener an escapism and give them kind of a beautiful picturesque landscape to kind of look at and think about and give them some hope and optimism it's really a great metaphor because music is something a lot of people use as an escapism and just kind of to get out of this present mindset if it's like being in a rut or feelings, you know, in a specific way, music can definitely shift your mood. You know, you can listen to something to make you feel better. You can listen to something if you're feeling sad and you want to feel sad. And and it's, it's nice that they're kind of bringing their music to the forefront and kind of noting that their whole band is this kind of concept of just escapism and just kind of giving the listener something to look forward to and enjoy. Aside from their messaging, when it comes to the band's music, they have been described as a culmination of pop orchestra, indie rock, and electronic pop music. I was curious how the new track Lovers in the Streets compared with some of their earlier music, so I took to the streaming services and listened to some of their popular tracks. From what I gathered, Their music is heavy instrumentation with a lot of feeling and sounds. It brings to mind a darker feel with like a lot of introspective lyrics. Um, You know, there were a few numbers that were fast, but for the most part, it seemed they were 
a mid-range speed tempo, not such a slow song, but not such a fast track either. And the speed of music really brought to mind something that was kind of more on the, the melancholy side. You know, it seemed that there was a, a kind of sadness that I could hear coming through the music, at least in my opinion. And I don't know if that's like what the band was going for or if, if, if that's just, you know, something that I'm getting from the music. But um, for the most part, I would say that their music is very guitar heavy. There's a lot of um, large wave of sound kind of culminating around the guitars. And, you know, I get that when I listen to some of their earlier songs. It also seems that there's a lot of instrumentation and orchestration that goes into making this music. You know, the culmination of sound is impressive and pretty lovely. Like, it it just comes together so beautifully. And um, another thing I want to note, there are some numbers that were more of like an electronic sound, but I like you know, I like the diversity in their sound within each song as well as, you know, across the board because there there is this, like, wall and landscape of sound that you do get from these songs. And just comparing them to the new track, Lovers in the Streets, I would say that there is a differentiation between this new track. Lovers in the Street is a much more upbeat number than that of their previous releases. It opens with, like, a very high energetic melody from even just the first couple notes you know there's like this infusion of a pop melody that's very enticing and engaging to the listener it has like I think a culmination of you know there's like these guitar riffs these keys there's a little bit of an electronic um vibe to it and it's just got this very like pounding drums you know it's it's very infectious it's very just something that like oh like you know it's different from their other stuff but it's also very uh, going into that whole like wall of sound kind of orchestration, lots of like things culminating, which is part of what they've done in the past. So the song is basically um, about romantic love and rekindled love. According to the band, um, they had said that it's a song about the feeling of rediscovered love in a relationship and the feeling of being free, wandering the streets together. And you get that from the lyrics. Um, Part of it goes, let us be lovers in the streets again. Let's redefine ourselves. You know, just kind of listening to the tone of the vocals and the music, it, it kind of creates it's this like um, very hopeful and very exciting um, kind of prospect for the future as to like what can happen for this couple. Another thing I wanted to mention is just about the, the vocals and they kind of come in, I think, at a really great point. You know, the song's out about 19 seconds and then you're kind of hit with these vocals from Anja and they are just these seductive and sleek and curious vocals, you know, you wonder what is happening, where the song is going to take you. And the music kind of mimics that as she gets to the point where she's like, when we rekindle in the streets and then the music kind of goes high and it's like, do, 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 do. And it kind of just complements the lyrics and the vocals so well. And it then you get halfway through the song and then there's just like a whole musical orchestration part that really kind of like amps up the the beat and amps up the song. And, you know, I, I think it's something that will stick with the listener. And I really, really enjoy this song. When it comes to who this song may appeal to, I would say it could cross genres. You know, someone who is into pop music, someone who's into, you know, dance music, um, and also indie rock. I think it has a sound that crosses genres, and I could see it appealing to those different types of audiences. And, you know, I feel like music nowadays is really becoming more kind of cross-dimensional in terms of, like, different genres that it's appealing to. It seems like music is kind of defining boundaries. It's not really so, you know, one genre. Like, a lot of musicians now are kind of adding lots of different elements to their music. And I think that's great because it makes it more kind of um, in depth and just kind of more entertaining. Secret Treehouse brings a lot to the table with this track. The band has also said that this is the first of several upcoming releases. So if you like their music, they'll definitely be more available. And if you want to listen to some of their other music, you can find it on streaming services like Amazon or Spotify. And you can also even pre-save this new track if you want to like put it in your Spotify or, you know, Adam Amazon or other streaming service playlist. So when it comes out on Friday, um, you can pre-save it as well. So you can listen to it again and again once it's out. But I'll leave links to those in the show notes. And uh, as I said, this song will be out Friday, November 18th via Filibuster Records. And I'm excited for you to hear it now. So without further ado, here is Lovers in the Streets by Secret Treehouse.
We'd love to know what you think about Secret Treehouse and their track, Lovers in the Streets. You can tell us in a comment on the podcast webpage. You can also leave an audio comment at the link in the episode summary. For more information on Secret Treehouse, you can check out their official website, www.secrettreehouse.no. That is S-E-C-R-E-T-T-R-E-E-H-O-S-E dot N-O. You can also like them on Facebook at the handle Secret Treehouse Music. That is S-E-C-R-E-T-T-R-E-E-H-O-U-S-E-M-U-S-I-C. You can follow them on Instagram at the handle Secret Treehouse Band. That is S C C R E T T R E E H O S E B A N D. On Twitter, they are at the handle Secret Treehouse without the second E. That is S E C R T T T R E E H O S E. If you're looking for more new music, be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you get the latest updates on our artist features. You can also find more music features at our website at www.eatsleepbreathemusic.com. That is E-A-T-S-L-E-E-P-B-R-E-A-T-H-E-M-U-S-I-C.com. Thanks for listening and see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music podcast. To find new music and learn more about what we do, you can check out our website at www.eatsleepbreathemusic.com.